a flow widget. You can use this widget to create a menu just like this one. To make this happen, we will start by creating inside the build the flow widget. And for this to work, we will need to create multiple things. First, we will add the with single ticker provider state mixin, and we will create a late animation controller menu animation. This example came from the Flutter website. After, we will create an icon dada, last icon clicked is the icon notification. You can see that when I click on the menu, the notification icon item is the last one selected. If I select the home and I reopen the menu, the home will be selected. This is the reason of this variable. Next, we will create a list of menu item. This is all the icons available in our menu. After inside the init state, we will create a menu animation. This one is an animation controller. The duration will be 250 milliseconds and the vsync this came from the with single taker provider state mixin. Otherwise it will not work. After this, inside the flow widget, we can create the delegate, which will be a flow menu delegate. Inside, we will pass the menu animation that we just created. Let's create a delegate for the flow menu. We create a class flow menu delegate, which extend the flow delegate. Inside, we will pass the argument menu animation, and we need two different override, the should repaint and the paint children. This one will be the logic how your animation will be displayed. After this, inside the flow widget, you can add the children. This one will come from the menu item, which is all the icons. And then you will use dot map and dot list to convert this into a list of widget. Inside, you will put a padding. This one will be an edge and sets five. The child will be a floating action button. You can see that each icon is a floating action button. The background color will depend if it's the last icon clicked or not. The splash color will be orange accent. Inside the onPress function, we will say if the icon is not the icon menu, then we will set state and say that the last icon click is equal to the icon because we don't want the menu icon to be orange, only the icons that are inside the list. You will also verify that if the menu animation that status is equal to the animation status that completed, then we will revert the animation, otherwise we will forward the animation. And this is what triggered both animation, forward and reverse. The child of the floating action button will be an icon coming from the list of icons. And with all this, you will have create a flow widget.